Welcome to Eclipse 10 Hacks. Hack number one. Sometimes the font that you see on your editor may be very small and you would want to change the font size. Then go to window, go to preferences, here type colors and fonts. Go to Java folder. Inside this you have Java editor text font. Go to edit. You can change the size of the font here. You can also change the font style and you can change the font itself. Apply. See if your font is fine. Then go for it. Hack number two. Suppose I want to add some package to my class. My class has got created in a default package. Now I want to change the package to something else. So for that you don't have to delete the class and do it again. Just type package keyword followed by the name of the package which you want to create and where you want to store the classes. Just type the statement. Go to the error. Click on it it asks you to move to the package. Just select the option so that the class moves to the package which you have mentioned there after creating the package if package does not exist. Hack number three. Suppose I want to add a main method to my class. So instead of typing everything I can just type the keyword main followed by control space. So control space is the intelligence that is built in Eclipse. So when you do that it gives some proposals. So select the appropriate proposal here. So that completes the main method. Now inside this if I want to print some statements instead of writing the entire thing of system.out.print can just type sysout followed by control space which completes the system.out.println. Hack number four. Suppose I have statements like this and it's not indented properly. Then what I can do is I can just go for control A which will select the entire code then control I. This will indent the program. If I, if I want to comment a group of statements I can select all these statements and press shift and control forward slash which will comment all the statements. If I want to uncomment it, I can press shift control and backslash which will un uncomment the block of statements. Hack number 5, if I want to uh, apply some block to my group of statements. I can select the statements and I press Alt, Shift and Z that gives me lot of options. I can add a try and catch block or I can add a for loop or I can go for a, a trig synchronized block or runnable. So which will create an anonymous inner class which has a method run of runnable interface. I end it with semicolon to complete the syntax. So this is very handy. So whenever I want some action to be done on a block of statements, select Alt Shift Z. I can also put them inside a try and catch block. Hack number six. Sometimes I want to complete a word. So in that case, I can just type few characters, then press Alt forward slash that completes the word. Suppose I write here V Bo and press Alt forward slash, it completes the word void. Sometimes I want to select a particular word then I don't have to select 
and move my cursor to select a word you can just move the cursor on the word and double click so it will select the complete word if i want to maximize this tab i can just go to the tab and double click it will maximize once again i double click on that it minimizes and so on hack number 7 in this we have a for loop a for each loop but this is giving me an error because for each loop was introduced in 1.5 version probably the compiler that is taken here is 1.4 version by default so if you move the cursor and check the error it says that these statements are available only if source level is 1.5 or greater so in order to select the compiler version that we want you can go to the project right click go to properties select java compiler here it is showing 1.4 Sometimes this check, check box will be selected, so you can deselect it, go back and select the version you want. Click on OK, come back and build your project with this version. So the error is gone. Hack number 8. Here I have a class called book which has two fields. Now if I want to generate some getters and setters or constructors or any other methods then I right click go to source and select those methods to define them but there is a shortcut for this the shortcut key is shift alt s so when I hit shift alt s I get all the options to generate getters setters to, to generate delegate methods hash code equals and constructors and all of these methods if you see they are they have a character underlined for example for to generate getters and setters r is underlined and you hit shift alt s and r it directly goes to generate getters and setters so let us do that so shift alt s then i press r this takes me directly to uh, select getters and setters and I select both the fields and click on OK to generate getters and setters. Similarly, you can generate constructors, two string, hash code, and equals as well. Hack number nine we have a key Shift Alt R. So when you press shift alt r on any class or package you select this helps you in renaming the class or package so just by hitting shift alt r instead of right clicking going to refactor and renaming we can use that There is another key shift control R when you press shift control R you, it helps you in locating a particular class. So here you can type the pattern and you can select. Hack number 10 suppose I have a code like this and I want to increase the font I don't want to increase the font but I just want to see it in a in a bigger uh, view or I want to zoom it then I can go for control plus and control minus brings it back I want to debug this code debug in the sense now I have a for loop and I have two statements one is evaluating Z and it is printing Z and I is getting incremented from 1 to 10 so if I want to do that go to run debug as but before that toggle the breakpoint so you can add a breakpoint just right clicking and run debug as change it to the debug perspe perspective 
and here you can keep on pressing F5 and every step or every time it enters the loop the values of i, z can be seen on the right window there. So, this is a easier way of tracing your program. If you get some errors you can debug this way. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and it, these hacks will definitely make your life easier while working on Eclipse.